video games make crouch walking seem effortless. It is effortless and most people do it all the time. You just don't see them. It also makes you much quieter for some reason. I guess Sam Fisher would look silly if he was tiptoeing like a cartoon character. Also rolling to dodge attacks. Way more effort than sidestepping quickly. ANS would hurt depending on the terrain. In Escape from Tarkov crouch walking takes more stamina because it's definitely harder to crouch walk with gear on than it is to walk normally. I have never had jellier legs than the day after a 4 hour laser tag party so much crouching. I suppose it's a canon reason why the Gears of War characters have thighs like tree trunks when you live in a world of chest high walls, you never miss leg day. Except in some of those video games, where you use just as much stamina to crouch as sprint. That feels closer. Your character in the game is probably a lot fitter than you in real life grinning face with smiling eyes. It is if you do it as much as you make your video game characters do it. Sometimes I'll pop a squat to clean the floor in my home and just stay that way. I'll walk around my entire house because my wife finds it adorable watching my longest legs move so quickly and only go such a short distance. To clarify, I usually have socks on and we have hardwood floors, so feet go brr. Meanwhile running for more than 10 seconds is painted as suicidal. I love running and I'm only depressed sometimes. This why I play video games. I'm 50. I live vicariously through video games as my knees are no longer my friend. And moving silently. No matter who you are, speed walking up behind someone on rocky ground is going to make them turn. What really bothers me is how readily characters enter bodies of water in full gear and all. It's crazy how it's easier to squat dance than to crouch walk. Playing VR, I find myself kneeling when I need to maintain a crouch walk, because actually maintaining the crouch is super painful. Fun fact frequent crouch walking is or at least used to be integrated into US Marine Corps recruit training. Crack pop, shuffle shuffle, pop, ow geez crack thump shuffle shuffle. Metal Gear Solid 4 has fun with the mechanic, if you stay crouched too long Snake has to stop and rub his back unless you pop some diazepam. I can relate. Let them cook, they will serve you some more realistic shits. Crouch walking burns your stamina bar in Escape from Tarkov, making it the most realistic FPS ever. First time doing laser tag as an adult, and I learned crouch walking is hard AF and leaves you sore for days. Just crouch walked around my room for a good 5 minutes and it really was not that hard. And I bet a lot of video game characters are a lot fitter than me. This has made me want to try more crouch walking IRL for some reason. I crouch walked 50 yards sneaking up on a deer this year, it oddly enough worked and I bagged the tasty boy. Mainly to stay out of sight though I guess, although it was pretty quiet. I learned this the hard way in about 5 seconds playing a VR stealth game. My old dog had lost a lot of strength in his back legs until he couldn't walk. He refused every kind of back leg support harness sling for several weeks, so I had to squat down and trail behind him in a crouch to help him walk around the house outside. Needless to say, it quickly got me into shape. You have to remember anyone crouch walking in a video game is a highly trained soldier warrior. In kitchen. Saw this on my phone. Try for like 5 seconds. Ow my knees. Also the amount of running. I am not so out of shape that I can't run up the steps. But a full run with a mow and a weapon I wouldn't be able to make it to the mailbox and back without a break. Greetings fellow comrade American spy who also cannot sit in squat position properly. Keep it cheeky breaky. I played paintball and didn't prepare myself for all the crouching. I am just gonna say that it means to feel good because what we can't do, the games does for us and we should not complain about such things, just accept that. Lolol I do a good bit of crouch walking in small attics running cable. It gives you quads of steel for sure. If you're over 30 it's difficult to just get in the crouch walk position. 
also climbing tall ledges, every video game character has crazy upper body strength. Crouch walking? I can't crouch for more than a minute and a half in one go. I had to do duck walks for baseball practice as a kid. We'd start from home and go around the bases. I'd only be able to get to second base before my legs were on fire. And also the upper body strength it takes to do a full front roll with a 70 pound claymore. Roadie running from gears is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Doing it while wearing a mid sized sedan as a chest plate would complicate things. I am gonna agree to this because it's just making sense for people like me, but I am just not fucking sure if all of the people are gonna support this right now lol. In MGS for the main character complained of back pain after a while. It can be easy if you work on your mobility. But you know each body type is its own and has its own limits. I'm 5 feet 2 inches at 100 pounds and walk around crouched to pet my cat so I regularly practice it lol. I'm also not trying to be quiet that would likely reduce the amount of time I could do it for. Facts. It'd be hard to go up a flight of stairs with a shit ton of gear IRL. In war zone that shit's no problem. I'm not skinny, but I'm not fat either. But if I crouch walk for too long I'm a pass out fam. I actually tried this recently, and damn it burns after just a little bit. I think it was after watching an episode of The Last of Us. My left pinky being cramped after a Minecraft bridge between End Islands to Sega with that statement. If you're actually in shape like the protagonists it's not that difficult to maintain. It makes swimming in clothes and then doing a full sprint while wet seem effortless. I think MSG5 has some of the most realistic sneaking when it comes to the way Snake moves. He doesn't crouch walk, IIRC, and rather stops in a crouch, but walks stooped over low. Then, he can also do the flat military crawl, which is what a military trained person would do if they really didn't want to be seen. If I just have short legs and walk at the height of a normal person crouching, am I auto stealth? I guess you never played Looney Tunes on the Mega Drive? Crouch walking was nearly impossible and essential in some parts of the game. It's not that hard. Maybe at long distances it can get challenging. That's the first thing I noticed playing Valheim, it costs stamina to crouch walk and I was like hmm that sucks but makes sense. In Tarkov, you can recover your stamina while fucking crawling but if you walk, it won't come back up. Anyone ever crawled with 100 pounds of shit in their backpack? Laughs in Minecraft. Cries in Bedrock. Screeches unfathomable eldritch horrors known only to people with ADHD or something. It is if you spend any amount of time stretching and working out. Problem is 80 of people just sit or stand all day and expect their body to do things it never does. I've been playing Valheim. You can crouch walk about 20 feet before you have no stamina. It's not that hard, but it doesn't really make you quieter. Yeah it always blew my mind how Big Boss could crouch walk with at least a 175 pound man on his back. Then again his legs are like tree trunks. Not in escape from Tarkov. No stamina Regan while crouch walking. Warhammer Dark Tide has players crouch sliding everywhere, even uphill carrying a load. For me it's hard. Also the muscle pain after you do it for a longer period. And yet you get winded after a few feet while running in a lot of games. I think Valheim is the first game I've played that uses stamina and quickly to crouch walk. While replaying The Last of Us 2 I noticed this. You can crouch so much and with no back pain. That's why they took it out for the remake of part 1 cause Joel ain't gonna crawl around with his 50 year old knees on the ground like Abby and Ellie, well both of the characters are like 18 but if I tried that it would surely make noise and get myself killed. True shit, I think they should improve it a bit and make it more real if they are there to make it a bit more for us, we all deserve the realism in everything these days.